kind of the way I think of it is, if a person's really smart about this and they 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 have a a, a multi-year strategy for how they're going to run their business as an adjuster, their their claims career, is that you could make uh, up to what like a family doctor makes, right? And they went to 12 years of medical school and spent $400,000, whereas you can go to a six week training and spend, you know, at that training that you know, we're talking about for veteran adjusting school, $20,000 and be making money in a lot less time than, than a doctor would, you know, but it takes a, a while to get there even with that. And it takes, it takes dedication. It takes having, to me, it takes having the mindset and sort of the heart to, to want to come into this industry and serve it and be available and say, what do you need? You need me to be licensed in the Southwest? I'll get every single license down there. And then you just sit, when you say jump, I'll say, how high? And I'm there. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. And I do that again and again and again and again. And those are the folks that that build that sort of like that, um, you know, the reps, right? They're, uh, they're, they're learning how to do field claims or desk claims or whatever it is um, by, you know, not only putting time in at the beginning and resources in at the beginning to get the training, but also in being available for anything that comes up, right? And saying, I'm, just, I'm gonna look at this as a learning experience. I may not make very much money with it. The, they're at the IA firm had just called me and they're at their wits end. Everybody else said no to this. It's four hour one way drive to a, a reinspection with us and they're all mad, right? I'm not gonna make any money on that, but I'm gonna go. It's gonna help my eye firm out and it's gonna give me a learning experience. Um, I think that if people will have that mindset that the sky's the limit with this, with this work for sure. You hit the nail on the head. Love to take, to, I could probably have a whole nother segment on that. Um, but you get, I can't stress it enough, you get what you put into it. If you're the adjuster that says, I'm only gonna work a hailstorm in Nebraska, you're only gonna get hail work in Nebraska and you may not even get that because we're going to be looking at our folks that are consistently wanting to work with us. It is no different than if I own my own business and I get a client. If I tell my client no quite a bit, I'll only do the fun stuff, I'll only do the, the, the really fun work that you wanna give me, they're yeah. probably not gonna call me that often, right? And so you yeah. get what you put into it. If you are if you are going to work, not to mention when you're going to work, you get that diverse experience. You get to work with various insurance companies or handle a wide range of claims. Um, and you just get this exposure to different aspects of the industry. So what are you doing? You're learning, you're growing, you're developing. Not only that, once you get your training, once you get in the field, you still don't know much, right? You, you still gotta, yeah. you gotta be coachable. You gotta listen to your managers. You've got to really, you know, ask good questions. You've got to pay attention and to grow. And once you do that, and once you get your sea legs under you and you're working, you know, you're handling your claims pretty well, you gotta still develop. You gotta get that professional development. You gotta still grow. We're all still growing. We're all still learning. You have to have that lifelong learner just drive within you. Because again, that's how you continue to get your clients. That's how you continue to earn more income. That's how you continue to get the calls. So it's also important, but again, you hit the nail on the head. You gotta, you gotta be willing to go to work. When we call you, I'm not saying every time, look, you got your, your daughter's wedding in two weeks. I'm not faulting you for not accepting the job, right? We get that. Um, there are going to be those situations, but when you do accept the job, you need to work it out. You need to do your best. You need to finish what you committed to. And then, you have you have the flexibility to go take a few months off if you want. That's yeah, for sure. Talk about, the, about this industry, when we talk about flexibility, is you you have the choice. So maybe you had a big year. Maybe you worked hail season. Then we had some early hurricanes, and you worked the hurricane. And now we've got some some freeze claims. And maybe you say, you know what? I'm taking a few. I'm going to take a month off. I don't want to do this. I want to go on vacation. You've set yourself up for the year you've probably earned some pretty good income. Now you have the flexibility to go on a month or two months vacation. And that's the, the other beautiful part of it. You know, in a staff role, you would just be working. You would get your X amount of vacation days in a year. You'd take on whatever that looks like. But this is really cool. I mean, you're working for yourself and you get to make those decisions and you can take time off. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment 
question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.